is settled. Climate change is a fact. And when our children's children look us in the eye and ask if we did all we could to leave them a safer, more stable world with new sources of energy, I want us to be able to say, yes, we did. A safer, more stable world, eh? I can't think of a president who has made the world less safe or stable, but he thinks building wind turbines and solar panels is the answer. And we've told you before about the massive solar panel monstrosity in Ivanpah near the California-Nevada border that literally burns up birds in mid-flight, thousands of them each month. But what about the risk to other things in the sky, like airplanes? Well, now pilots are complaining of safety hazards from the super bright glare it's causing them to fly over the five square miles of giant mirrors. But there are billions of dollars in subsidies at stake. So what's a few down birds or planes, am I right? Former U.S. Congressman Ernest Istook joins us with more from Washington. Mr. Istook, what a pleasure to have you on the show. You've done some research into this. It's Always not just enjoy. the birds. Tell me the risk to airplanes. This is over some it's significant people. flight paths, am I right? Absolutely. According to the FAA, uh, 15,000 miles, I'm sorry, 15,000 flights pass within 12 miles of this facility every month. Now, according to a study done by the Sandia National Laboratories, if they get within six miles, then there's a danger of being blinded by the glare from these 300,000 giant mirrors uh, focused up in the air uh, trying to heat water on these giant water towers that they use the water to heat, generate steam, generate electricity. But in a year's time, there are 40 million people that go in and out of McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas, which is just some 30 miles away. So you've got millions of people flying right by this facility if they come within six miles of it, and when you're up in the air, six miles is pretty close. Pilots can be blinded by the glare, and they have lingering after images where they cannot see for some time. It's a busy air corridor. Mm. It's, you know, over empty land of the Mojave Desert, but there's lots of flights over there, and there's a danger when you're being blinded by this glare. You know, and this is serious. I remember a few years ago when we had a spate of pranksters and troublemakers getting those little laser pointers and aiming them up at pilots right. in planes. Remember that? And I know in Canada, at least probably in the States too, lots of charges were laid if people were found because you blind a pilot, you could you could cause an accident. Well, this isn't just a tiny little laser pointer. This is, what did you say, 300,000 solar reflectors? That's a serious brightness, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, and there are 300,000 mirrors. Each of them, I mean, they're big. Each mirror is about seven feet by 10 feet, 300,000 of them spread over five square miles. The intensity, according to the report done by Sandia National Labs, you can see it 40 miles away. It becomes bright in your eyes at 20 miles away. And if you get within six miles, you have a chance of being blinded by the glare after images. Who knows what might happen with all the air traffic around there you could have some sort of mid-air collision that's not unknown. That's why, you know, people worried about laser pointers. This is orders of magnitude bigger yeah. than those laser pointers with well, all I, the thousands of flight involved over this. Well, and they don't have an answer. Isn't that incredible? They don't have an answer for it. Well, I believe it. I mean, if sunglasses, uh-uh, they don't work for this. Yeah, I mean, that would be like saying, well, I'll just wear sunglasses and someone can point a laser pointer in my eye. We know that there's an intense amount yeah. of energy. Or look at the sun. If it's literally burning birds up. As we, I saw a report last month that up to 20 plus thousand birds a year are being cooked in the sky for making the mistake of flying over. But there's a lot of big government grants behind this. Let's put some of them on the screen, uh, Congressman. I think this is why uh, this sure. was pushed ahead despite the concerns. It's received $1.6 billion in loans for the project. It's part of $5.2 billion in loans given by the Obama administration to the same company, which, by the way, is five times that of what right, taxpayers right lost at Solyndra. So this is, don't you dare get in the way between a lobbyist and his grant money. That's what this is about, isn't it, Congressman? Well, it, it's in part the lobbyists and the grant money. It's also the agenda that enables them 
uh, to get these, where people are so devoted to getting solar energy, no matter how expensive it might be. And typically, uh, getting a kilowatt hour out of solar energy is going to cost perhaps five times more than if you get it out of fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. So th we're, we're paying these subsidies. We're doing debt service on the subsidies of some $30 million a year on top of the $1.8 billion loan. And the whole thing, it's all dependent upon government subsidies to this company. And that $1.8 billion loan for this one facility is not the whole picture because this company, its parent company, has received over $5 billion of taxpayer subsidies and loans to build these facilities. Mm. And, and yet the Bureau of Land Management, which provides them those five square miles of real estate to work on, the Bureau of Land Management doesn't have a solution for the glare. Mm. Sandia National Laboratories don't have a solution. And are you gonna tell 40 million air passengers a year they have to make a big detour around it so they don't come within six miles of the place? No, it's incredible. That's, that's not a solution. You know, we know that millions of birds every year die flying into wind turbines. They're sacrifice species for the green agenda. I just never thought it would come to actual people in airplanes. God willing, that doesn't yes. happen. But let us put it on the record now. A real warning, not just from you, but from the scientific study you referred to. I hope it doesn't come to that, but I think... I think that this has... And the pilots who are complaining. Yeah, absolutely. I hope that someone listens to them before tragedy strikes. Congressman, great to have you on the show. Thanks very much for being here.